Snyder here. It is April the 26th, 2013. And I just want to go over this uh, this overlay that I showed. I showed it the other day, actually. Let me just turn it off for a second. Okay, this is uh, Australia, of course, and the weather pattern that's around it right now. This is live weather on Google Earth right now. And you can see the circular pattern that goes around. I mean, if there's obviously a circular pattern that goes around this, right? Okay, so when I take the weather away and I put up that that overlay that I did the other day, I showed it with Japan the other day in a video. You can see it on my channel. Okay, this is how I lined this picture up. This is Mare Oriental Basin reversed. You gotta flip the picture over and overlaid over Australia. Now this this part of this picture right here, you can get this picture off the internet, and you can use other Mare Oriental pictures if you want. Okay, but this is the best, most detailed one you can get, and, and that I could get. I, mean, I don't know about you, but it's the best one I could get. So that's why I work with it all the time. But this this shape right here, you, you put that right over Australia like this, look, just like that, right where it, right where it fits perfectly. Okay, put that right there, just like that. You see what I'm saying? Right there, that part of Australia, you put that there. Once you put that there, you can take a look at it and see how everything fits. You want to kind of get this crater over here lined up right there, right not right over that dark spot, but right on the edge of it. Because I do believe it goes on the edge of that area. It might go over that. Yeah, it goes right up to the edge. You can see where it kind of comes up right here. This just like gets pushed up or something. Okay. Get that lined up, and then you can see like oh let's see this probably lines up pretty good. It's pretty probably pretty close. See that right there. Okay see another air. this is like the center of it right here something goes on there okay anyways turn the weather on this is live streaming weather like I said live weather on Google Earth look at the how the weather fits this this pattern now that I all I did was line that part up right on the side of Australia there that part and look how the weather patterns just fit right in there it was actually better yesterday but it's still good still good today see that Oh man, my mouse keeps screwing up again. Okay, see how that fits in there? Just right, it goes right at the line. You can see there's a line there. It stays within the lines and it follows that pattern just beautifully. Then you come over, come down here. You can see, you can barely see like this little swirl in the in the, the picture. You know, you can see how that what could what could possibly get that swirl going there. You got the oh man, what is going on here? I am not doing that. What I'm trying to do is this. Okay, so you see how that is? You get this this stuff, it, and, the, and you just leave that leave that picture in place. Line it up like I said. Leave it in place, and don't move it. And then every every day or every whenever you get a chance, check the weather in that spot. Just turn the live weather on and just check it. And I guarantee that it, when there's weather around around Australia, the weather will fit in this pattern on the moon here, this moon crater. Now let's just take a look at it without the weather and look at it from like a distance here. And just take a look at look at how that fits. The whole whole ocean floor, all this over here. Look at the pattern. Oh, this island here. Fits in there very well. I mean, it just, it, and people, I mean, it's, it's, I know, it's, it seems ridiculous that the moon would be that big, right? But I'm telling you, this, this is the, like I said in my last video, the other video about this, this is the, the claw print, I, this, this is what the Japanese, I guess, I don't know if that's what they call it, but in that Sailor Moon musical that I talk about, this is the claw print of mistakes. It, the, this, the, the song starts out, the slant is covered with the claw print of mistakes, right? And it says, look into my eye. It is the source of my oath. Look into my eye. It's the source of this world. That character is basically the dark moon, the black moon, whatever, and and dressed in silver. That character is in silver, and it, that's basically. Pay attention to if you ever watch that that musical. Pay attention to that character, and then when they talk about the uh, when they have the wrestling match in that in that one, they got the. Jaguar Mask, Jaguar Mask, who's one of the wrestlers, which is the the Intercontinental Champion. Okay, this is Jaguar Mask right here. This 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 part of the moon, you can see there's another circle here. That's basically you can see it in the weather actually. The weather kind of shows it there. Kind of shows this the other circle here. Okay, well that's Jaguar Mask, and then I, I'm not sure about Black Scorpion yet. The Black Scorpion character that is the Pacific Champion. I I think that might be the South Pole of the Moon. 
possibly, or it may not even have anything to do with the moon, but it has something. It has something to do with the, this whole, this whole story that they that they're trying to tell, anyways. But that's a definitely a good fit there. Like I said, I showed Japan there the other day. Let me see if I can find that there. Japan should be right around here somewhere, or maybe it's up here. There it is. Show Japan how it fits right there. The same, right in that spot there. Really well, really, really well. So check it out. Just try to piece things back together. You can, you'll see how how they go back. They definitely go together. Anyways, I should just take that out of the picture. Just show that right there. Turn the borders on. You turn on the borders. Sometimes that that confirms things too pretty well. Okay. And then it, over here, like this this ring crater that I always talk about, the oval crater. You can check to see. You know that should be. It should be a shape like that somewhere around here. You can see something here, right here, or something. Or somewhere in that area. I actually got a couple other ones I'd like to show to you that I did yesterday. Uh, let's just check the weather. The circular patterns on the weather, in the weather, like I uploaded a video about already, should be becoming more defined here. Um, I don't know if they're going to... Yeah, they should become more defined over the next day or two. Almost looks like right now they're starting to go away, but I'm I'm confident that the next day or two they should be really clear circular patterns. Yeah, it looks like they're kind of breaking up today. It might be just just because it's during the daytime, so nighttime they seem to be better. Anyways, that's it for the day, I guess. I'll show you the other ones when I get some when they got good weather there to show them with or something. All right, everybody have a good day, have a good weekend. And until uh, next time, have a good one.